In this video, we are going to find gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gate margin, and phase margin. In the previous video, I told you how to draw border plot in semi low graph. In this video, we are going to find these terms. So, this is our magnitude, and this is our magnitude plot, and here, this is our phase angles, and this is our phase plot. Now, for finding gain crossover frequency, look at the point of 0 decibel. This is in dB unit, okay? So, point of 0 dB. So, this point. Draw a straight line from that 0 dB. So, from 0 dB, draw a straight line. And omega or gain crossover frequencies, gain plot will cross that 0 dB at a point. At this point, you can see. The frequency at that point. So, this is the frequency, okay? Find the frequency at that point. As you can see here, it is 6. So, this is point 1, point 2, point 3, point 4, point 5, and point 6. So, gain crossover frequency it is 0.6 radian per second. From 0 dB, draw a straight line. The gain plot will cross that 0 dB at a point. At that point, the value of frequency is gain crossover frequency. Now, for finding phase crossover frequency, look at the phase angle. Minus 180 degree. Draw a straight line from minus 180 degree. So, from minus 180, minus 180 is here. So, minus 180, draw a straight line. So, minus 180, draw a straight line. So, the phase plot will cross that minus 180 line at a point here. The frequency at that point, the frequency at that point. So, the frequency at that point. What is the frequency at that point? It is 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, phase crossover frequency is 4 radian per second. Now, for finding gain margin, look at the phase crossover frequency point. Okay. At phase crossover frequency, the magnitude, find the magnitude plot. The phase crossover frequency, the it will touch the magnitude plot at a point. See here. Look at the magnitude at that point. At that point, the magnitude, the magnitude it is minus 4, this is 0, minus 4, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. Gain margin is the negative of the magnitude that we got. Here we got minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So negative of minus 4 it is 4 dB. So gain margin it is 4. Now for finding phase margin. Look at the gain crossover frequency. The gain crossover frequency will touch the phase plot at a point. To touch the phase plot at a point, at this point. At this point, find the find the phase angle. At this point, the phase angle it is phase angle. So this is the phase angle at this point. So this is minus 120 and this is minus 140. It is in between that. Minus 120, 124, minus 128. At this point, it is minus 128. So, phase margin is, the equation is 180 plus 5GC. 5GC is our angle, minus 128. So, 5GC is minus 128. So, 180 minus 128, we will get it as 52 degree. So, 52 degree is our phase margin. Now, why we are drawing this? Uh, body plot for finding stability of a system. So, so, how to determine stability from these values? For getting stability from gain margin and phase margin, if both gain margin and phase margin are positive, then system is stable. If any one of the values is negative, the system is unstable. If both are zero, the system is marginally stable. From gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency to determine stability, if gain crossover frequency is less than phase crossover frequency, system is stable. If gain crossover frequency is greater than phase crossover frequency, system unstable. If both are equal, system is marginally stable. So, this question. In this question, gain margin is positive, gain margin is positive, phase margin is positive, so system is stable. From gain crossover frequency, gain crossover frequency is 0.6 and phase crossover frequency is 4. So, 0.6 is less than 4. So, our system is stable. In this question, the system is stable. Suppose think that the phase plot is not crossing this minus 180 degree line because the phase plot is not crossing minus 180 degree line. 
at that time the gain margin will be infinity